Once a month, the Grace Venture Strategy Committee, your missions committee here at Grace of Anne, has decided to produce a mission moment video to better inform you about all things missional going on here at Grace of Anne. So for this month, we have some questions for our senior pastor. Now, Jimmy, back in 2003, you, along with the uh, session of elders, uh, started the Grace Venture Challenge. Live more simply, give more sacrificially, accomplish the Great Commission. That first part, live more simply, describe what that, what that means and why it's so important. Well, I don't think it's that difficult to understand. When, when I say live more simply, that's, um, that's what I mean. It's, it's, uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm the only one who believes that many of us have too much. And um, too much tends to choke the soul. And so uh, all I'm pleading for is uh, instead of buying more, buy less. Uh, instead of living uh, at the edge of, at the margins of my income, live below the margins of my income. Instead of buying the... Uh, the $50,000 car, buy the $30,000 car. Instead of um, taking the exotic vacation, take the, the less exotic. It's, it's just a call to, for us to simplify our lives, to get rid of the unnecessary so that we can be more uncluttered to do what God has called us to do. Now, that second part, give more sacrificially. Uh, when you hear that, what comes to your mind? Well, very specifically, um, very simply, I, I'm, I'm calling all of us to raise the percentages of, of what it is that we give away. Um, I, I've said around here on a couple of occasions that uh, most of us, not all of us, but that many of us can give away 10% of our income and never, and never miss it. But this is really not about percentages. It's about sacrifice. Um, if you're not sacrificing anything, you're not giving anything. It's the level of sacrifice that measures for each individual family the, the nature and the, the, uh, the quality of their giving. All right, that last part, accomplish the Great Commission. What is that and how would you say this congregation can participate in that? Well, the Great Commission is just a, a passage that's found in uh, Matthew chapter 28, the last three verses of Matthew 28. It's the last piece of instruction that Jesus gave us before he left us. Um, and there are basically two halves to the Great Commission, evangelism and discipleship. But the, but the key thing is that that is to go on globally, on a, on a global scale. So I'm simply saying to our congregation that, that nothing's changed. Jesus hasn't changed that. It hasn't been completed. It hasn't been fulfilled. So we are still taking it seriously, saying that the Great Commission... Uh, is unfinished. There's still a lot to be done. It's going to be a long time before it's done, so let's get about that. In terms of individual believers, uh, there's just, it, it, we don't have enough time to talk about the multiplicity of ways, depending on one's gifting, depending on one's uh, spiritual interest, where they could uh, participate in uh, bringing about, bringing to fulfillment the Great Commission. Well, I hope that's been informative for you. And it's interesting, since 2003, there are countless stories all throughout this congregation of how this Grace Venture Challenge has been changing our culture. I want to encourage all of you, wrestle with this challenge. Think and pray about how you can live more simply, how you can give more sacrificially, and how God can use you to accomplish the Great Commission.